Hi there, Toy here, and I'm going to be reading today. So I'm attempting to resurrect the little thing that I used to do where I would read um, something um, that I've written, and um, it used to be very little short snippets. And so I'm kind of going to try to get back into that on a regular basis. And um, I'm going to try to share something a little bit longer than maybe what I shared before, unless the piece is really just that short. And so um, this is the first one. So I picked something short because I knew I was going to be explaining some things. So the pieces that I'll be sharing will sometimes come from things that I've already published and put out there. Sometimes it will be like a work in progress. So you'll get a little update on how that's going. Or sometimes it could just be like what I'm sharing today, a one-off, something that I wrote from a prompt and just thought I'd share it with you. Maybe one day I'll throw it into a collection of short stories. I don't know, but it was just um, a little something something. So I went to a conference, um, uh, Hampton, I believe it was the Hampton Roads Writers Conference, and I really love that I finally got connected with the Hampton Roads Writers. It took me forever. I don't know why. I have issues. But um, they're a wonderful organization to belong to. Um, their, their writing conference last year was amazing. I wasn't able to do the online one this year. But um, regardless, there was a um, workshop on how to do a kind of like a recipe in the format of a story. And so um, that was kind of like the prompt. We talked about some things. And anyway, <laughs> This is what I came up with. Um, I made it up on the spot, so this isn't something like from my personal background or anything or whatever. And um, I hope you like it. It's called Poor Pilaf. The pantry is almost bare, but I was given a sack of toasted almonds and decided to delight myself. The liquid coconut oil indicates that it's too warm for a chilled salad. Plus, I doubt there's any decent greens around. Then I see a jar of white, white, white rice and remember granny tea. First, I'll pull down a box of spaghetti noodles with less than a serving remaining and decide to leave just enough behind to frustrate the next cook who comes along. She'd whisper, not wanting to give away her secrets. Toss in a few chopped up noodles into the oil, she'd smirk. They'll never know it isn't long grain once it browns. Then I'd pick up the jar of rice and remember her instructions. Coat the rice in the oil and stir until it just starts to tan. That's when you're ready for water. I see her shaking her finger at me when I almost forget to add salt before the rolling boil. I smile at the tiny can of green peas recalling the day I asked if small cans were meant for, for feeding small people. No, child, small cans are not for wasting food, she'd scold with her hips bouncing. I don't, I, <laughs> I don't appreciate the facial the steam offers when I lift the lid of the multicolored rice and noodle mixture as I add in the supportive vegetables. When it's time for the herbs, my heart sinks as I stare at the herb garden that's no longer on the windowsill. Butter, salt, and maybe a pinch, butter, pepper, and maybe a pinch more salt will have to do. Finally, I open my sack of almonds and sliver a handful before adding them to the masterpiece. That's a good looking pot of popilaf, I can hear her say. Being poor is no excuse for living without the light. Why have plain rice when you can have pilaf? So honestly, I don't know if I've shared that before. Um, maybe I have, I don't know, but I just thought I'd share it for my first little Toy Reads update. And I hope to be sharing many more with you in the future. Um, sorry the reading didn't go that well, but this is, you know, I'm shooting this live, even though I'm not posting it live. And so if you ever want to give me a prompt and see what I can do with it, go for it. And I'll be sharing more of my stories with you. That's all I have for now. Bye.